Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an updated case collection video. So as you know, this is where I keep my cases. And so I have cases here. I have the giveaway cases. And I have this case. So I'm going to start off with my iPod second generation case because I only have one case. I just didn't want to come off. Okay. So... It has some aging to it. It's supposed, I don't know if it's supposed to be black or green. No, you know what color it's supposed to be? It's supposed to be blue. Yeah, I, now I remember. Um, and then, so it has these little circles in it, like you can see, and it's just squishy. And this, did not protect my iPod when I had it. Um, as you can see, my iPod is cracked. Can you see that? Can you see that? I dropped it and it like shattered. So, that's my iPod second generation case. Now, on to my iPod fifth generation cases. I have this generic our box with the screen protector in the front and the screen protector in the back and then it's silicone and the two pieces and it started to stretch the silicone started to stretch so i have like a gap on the top if you can see that and it's just really loose and you see by the camera like it's very loose and then so i don't use this one very much um then the next one I have is this panda one that you guys have seen before and in my what's in my iPod video and it has the like the I think it's called a, a waffle inside um a waffle type structure on the inside and it causes it to be really protective because if your phone falls or your iPod falls and it has this thing in the inside then it kind of like bounces. Um, then I have this case, and it's opposite of this case because this one has the um, silicone on the outside and the hard on the inside. This one is hard on the outside and silicone on the inside. So it's three pieces like the other one, but the silicone goes first, and then you put it like that. You clip it in and my clip started to break but yeah and I think it's really protective I only wish that it came with a screen protector then I have these two Mario cases I have the galaxy one and I have the new Super Mario Brothers <clears throat> and I do remember the price of these these were a dollar and ten cents or two dollars and ten cents something like that but I bought them together and this one broke over here and it cracked on the sides like on the sides I have cracked <clears throat> but this one I've used lately and it didn't it hasn't broken yet so yeah and they're not really protective <clears throat> hate being sick then i have this one i had on my ipod just now and i took it off um it's a orange penguin case and i like it because this causes it to slant upward sort of and then so yeah it's orange and it's just a penguin and it looks like that on the inside and it fits really snug onto my ipod and so i like it then I have this black Game Boy case, and it doesn't say Game Boy on it, so it's a knockoff. But I don't care, because I paid a dollar for it. <laughs> Bless me. Um, so I had it signed by a Rangers player right there, but then it, like, faded, and you can still see it. And it's kind of loose on my iPod. But I still wear it sometimes. It was my favorite case, but then it started to get stretched out. So I'm going to order another one. 
Then I have this case that I made. Uh, this is an iPhone 5 case and they fit on the iPod 5s. You just have to try them on first. And so I made this case and this just needs to be glued back into place. And I don't wear this because the glue that I used dried yellow and it this this bottom line it didn't dry straight because of the glue but that's not my problem it's just that the glue the access glue uh turned yellow so i'm just gonna like cover this like the clear spots in glitter and then i might use it or i might do a giveaway or some sort of thing like that then I have this next case, and I'm highly prepared to tell you what it is. It is frosted. It has a frosted finish. And so you can see through it, but it's kind of a little foggy. And it's clear pink on the sides, and it's just frosted on the back. And I love this case, and it fits really good. And it's like the case for my iPod second generation so it's not exactly um protective but i really like it and i've never drawn my ipod before so protectiveness never was never an issue and then i have this cow case and it sort of has the waffle thing in the inside and so i think it's really cute and so when I have it on, I like to chew on his little ears. I don't know why, but I really like this case. It's, I think it's really cute. And I got this for like a dollar. And all my cases were from, like so far, are from eBay or um, mobile on mobile. Sorry, I'm sick. Um, then I have this stitch case. Stitch, 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 stitch. And it's sort of waffled on the inside, and it's really protective. This piece right here is really, really thick, and the eyes are really thick. And normally, I take the ears off when I wear this case because they get kind of annoying because they cover the corner of the screen. Then if you wear them like this, they flop a lot and it's just annoying. Or they, like, distract me a lot. So, if I wear it, I take the ears off. And then, also waffled, I have this um, Winnie the Pooh case. And I was watching a video that... Mattia Castellano did and she's Talia's sister and she has the same case but for her iPhone 5 and she said the same thing that I think I think it's a really good case I think everyone should have cases like this everyone thinks like everyone tells me oh my god it's so obsessive why do you need a case that thick it makes no sense, but when you drop it, your your iPod, your iPhone, it will not break because it is so thick. Like, do you see that? You can't put it in your pocket. I mean, you can carry a bag and put it in your bag, but you can't put it in your pocket, which is a good thing in my part because I've had my iPod fall out of my pocket, especially when I try to st stuff this case in there. I have it fall out of my pocket, and it didn't break like it fell on concrete and didn't break and I mean I know I have to put it in my book bag so it's safer in my book bag than it is in my pocket and it's just a really cute case and I love it and I paid like ten dollars for it um then I have this cassette case and it's white and it's just like a set player and i paid like a dollar for this and i actually wore this case for my birthday then for my birthday i bought this case and it is a green turtle and i got it from claire's for ten dollars 
so he's cute. I love him. I like to wear him a lot. Especially because it's summertime, even though it doesn't feel like it today. Then I have this, like, case with the borders, and it's hard, so it's not squishy. It's, well, the sides are squishy, and, like, here it's not. And it's frosted again, just like this one. It is frosted, and you can see the apple here, but because I have a skin on it, you see part of the picture, and then whatever, and then... It has a hole to put an arm strap on it, so that's what I did because I don't like the strap that comes with the iPod. Then I got this case from Rainbows, and it was $2. And it's just this hard owl case. And it's purple, and I like it a lot. It's not protective, though, and it's, like, semi-easy to get off. It's like kind of hard, but not as hard as other cases. And it doesn't have the, the bar right here like the Mario cases, so it won't crack, which I really like. Then I have this two-piece case that I paid also $2 for at Rainbows. And it's pink and blue, and I had this on for a while, and I guess it's protective because it has two pieces but the heat makes this stain this and well like the hard piece stain the silicone piece and I don't like the way it looks it makes it look dirty but it was two dollars so it's whatever I wear it whenever I have I want it to match my outfit and yeah and other than that, I mean, it's hard to get on because you have to put the silicone and then you have to put the piece on and some, like, the silicone pieces, like, fold in and it's a pain in the butt, but altogether, I think it's a really good case. Um, and that's all my iPod 5th generation cases, and now I'm going to show you the two cases that I'm going to give away. So, I have this. I don't remember how to say his name, but I have this case for the iPhone 5 and this case for the iPod 5, iPod Touch 5. So I will be giving these out very, very soon. So if you're interested in winning this one for the iPhone 5 or this one for the iPod 5, iPhone 5, iPod 5, let me know. Well, don't let me know look out for the giveaway because a lot of you have let me know that you are interested in these cases and so look for those giveaways i have i want to do them really soon but i need some help figuring out the raffle thing so i'm gonna ask my friend to help me out and i will be doing these giveaways very shortly so look out for that and i'll see you guys later bye guys